This is a very simple programme. I'm going to walk you through it and in a few minutes you'll be able to produce your own herd milk prediction for a 12 month period. Before you start your prediction, you'll need to work out the predicted calving pattern of cows and heifers and when the cows you have in the herd at the start of the prediction last calved. There are basically two options, a manual based prediction and a prediction based on the number and distribution of calvings. I'll start by explaining how the calving based predictions work. We start by entering some basic data. You only ever enter it into the yellow boxes and you can select the cell you want to enter data into using your mouse or move sequentially through the cells using the tab key. Here I'm entering a farm name, postcode, herd name, herd ID, which is provided by your milk purchaser. Next, enter the date you want the prediction to start and the calving interval. Please note the yield you enter is the lactation yield. That is the average amount of milk an animal will give from the day it calves until the day it dries off. The average calving interval for the herd can be any duration from 365 to 450 days. Increasing the calving interval spreads the lactation over a longer period. NMR estimate the average calving interval is 424 days. Once this information is entered, select the square button with the words set up forecast, and this will set up the table into which you will enter calving information. 305 day yield is calculated, and this is broadly equivalent to the annual milk sales of an animal. You can get this information from your milk records. If you don't know the yield of your cows, this programme won't really help you predict future output. The management system allows you to fine-tune prediction based on how your cows are managed. Low yield reflects herds that have a seasonal bias, typically spring calving cows. High yield reflects cows where the lactation is constant, more typically seen with high yielding herds. The average yield reflects a typical UK herd, if there is such a thing. The culling rate works by assuming about half of total culling is of cows in lactation and there are three tiers of culling possibilities as described on the screen. You can make these adjustments at any time, however just be aware if you reset the date it will reset all parameters to nil. The next thing to do is enter the historic carvings. Add up for each month the total number of cow and heifer carvings. Don't include cows that calved last year that have since been solved, as they won't contribute to the prediction. The total number of historic calvings should be the same as the number of cows and heifers in the herd at the prediction start date. Next, enter the expected calvings over the next 12 months by adding the cows and heifers you expect to calve in each month. You should estimate the amount of milk that will be discarded or used for house and calves. If you don't do this, you'll probably end up overestimating the amount of milk you'll send to your purchaser. The final column allows you to enter the amount of milk you produced last year. This is optional, but it will allow you to sense check the predicted volumes against the farm's production in the last year. When you've finished, check on the yellow square run forecast and it will run the calculation and you'll see the results in the second table if you scroll down. This is the output table. For each month it shows estimated production, the predicted number of cows in milk, estimated litres per cow in milk per day. The sales are the volumes produced less the amount discarded and used on farm. There's a column which shows the cumulative volumes and the final column indicates the percentage variation in predicted volumes compared to the amount produced in the prior year. That's it. If you get this far, you've completed a prediction. Well done. You can try out various options by changing yield, calving interval, system, culling rate and calvings. Just remember when you've done so, click run forecast. And when you're happy that everything is correct, you can click on print. This opens the prediction in a printer friendly for format and you can click on print to, to print this, send this to your printer. You can also cut and paste the data into a spreadsheet if you want to. To go back to the predictions, select the tab in your browser to go back to it. The data you've entered is saved on your computer, so next time you open the program, it will populate the cells with the last date you entered. You can also click on Submit if this option is enabled in your version, and this will automatically send your prediction to your milk purchaser. 
If you need to submit a prediction, but don't want to use the carving base tool, you can select the manual option and enter the monthly expected volumes in the cells and then submit the production as I've previously described. We hope you find this program easy to use, but feel free to let us have any feedback or ask any questions if you need help with anything. And you can also refer, refer to the printed uh, hard copy help files in the program. Thank you.